So you may or may not have seen the video last week about this thing, the uh, Sega Mega Drive uh, synthesizer thingamajiggy. Like I said last week, it's got little scales, Gen MDM cartridge, which basically takes MIDI information from all of this and tells the Sega Mega Drive what to do. You could do a lot of things with this cartridge and you could still get it from Catskill Electronics. So there was quite a few comments asking why the heck have you left the Sega Mega Drive on there? Well the sound is actually completely coming from the Sega Mega Drive to the point that the audio out is literally just the headphone output on the front of the Sega Mega Drive. And the Sega Mega Drive can make these sounds without all of this stuff. However this aids it to be able to be used in a kind of hands-on fashion and also polyphonically. So in the last video because I'm a bit of a dumbass when it comes to coding, I was only able to modify one of the channels on the Sega Mega Drive with the knob. However, I did mention a plan in the last video on making a poly mode. And this poly mode, all it basically does is means when you twist this single knob, instead of it only controlling it on a single channel, it actually sends the command to every single channel, meaning every single channel is exactly the same. And if every channel is exactly the same, well that means you can kind of play it polyphonically. It sort of acts like your bog standard analog polyphonic synthesizer. Thank you to everybody who suggested changes on the code. I was a little bit overwhelmed and sadly I could have only used one of them. So what I did, which was the fairest way I could think of was I started from the first one that I got and I kept on working up until I had one that worked. So thank you very much to Harry Axton who actually did a very quick and dirty mod to make this work and that code is available as well as everything else on the website. So without further ado let's play the poly mode. Like, like, watch, watch. <laughs> By the way, I hope you like C major triads because A, that's all I know, and B, come on, it's it, that. Wh why do you need anything else? <laughs> Added a bit of reverb just to get it a bit more epic, you know. So I'm gonna start plugging in some CV and getting uh, getting funky. You know what I mean? It sounds like a never ending drop dead Fred dream sequence. <laughs>
that is the next step on the uh, Sega Mega Driver synthesizer thing. It seems like a perfect tool if you want all of your songs to sound like Labyrinth or the dream sequence in Drop Dead Fred. I literally finished the polyphonic mode just before I did the Patreon live stream last night and I played this on it. And if you want to catch next month's one, well, it's in a month, but there's plenty more vlogs and stuff on projects that I'm doing. And needless to say, the amazing support really helps out with uh, doing projects like this. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. Information on this build is available on my website and my other channel if you want to go and check that out. And yeah, until the next video, I've been Little Mum No Computer. Don't forget to subscribe and build yourself a Sega Mega Drive synthesizer thingamajiggy.